The new MLB jersey sucked, right? Just look at the font. Garbage. With all the bad press and the feedback from the players, they're actually gonna make some changes. Let's check out the Jeff Passan article about the MLB memo. And these are the key points. It says primary modification include a return to a larger font on the back. Thank goodness, because they made it smaller, it just didn't look right. It looked very amateurish. The next key point that they were gonna touch base on was a mismatch color of the gray tops and bottoms. It looked so weird. Mismatch gray tops and bottoms addressing the new Nike jerseys propensity to collect sweat. I didn't know what propensity was, but it means ability basically. The changes which will happen at the latest by the beginning of the 25 season. There was definitely a lot of bad press because the pants look a little see-through. If you've seen the pictures, you know what I'm talking about. The union informed players of the coming changes in the letter that was placed blame on Nike and the debut of the Vapor Premium uniform, which was advertised for its superior performance but disliked by the players. This has been an entirely a Nike issue. The memo to the players read, at its core, what has happened here is that Nike was innovating something that didn't need to be innovated. Everyone's thoughts, exactly. Why ruin last year's layout? All you had to do was make little tweaks, not a whole major overhaul. The union also absolved Fanatics, the manufacturer of the uniform that has received major or public scorn for the uniform mess, saying the company recognizes the vital importance of soliciting player feedback, obtaining player buy-in, and not being afraid to have difficult conversations about jerseys or trading cards. Our hope is that moving forward, Nike will take a similar approach. In regarding to the pants, according to the memo, they will return to a higher quality zipper used in 2023. It had issues including the see-through fabric, a lack of tailoring, and rips and tears that players believed unnecessary. If the players are telling you this, you gotta take these feedback. And it also said, we cautioned Nike against these various changes when they previewed them in 2022. So this was a long time coming, particularly, particularly regarding pants. MLB had been and has been aware of our concerns as well. Unfortunately, until recently, Nike's position has essentially boiled down to nothing to see here. Players will just need to adjust. That was a bad move. Sounds like Nike dropped the ball and tried to change things that did not need to be changed. So what do we do? Do we let the new jersey sit, go on discount, and then maybe pick it up? Or just let them take the hit on it? The real question is, can we start returning these?